David, you've been one of the most eloquent supporters of the Live Aid cause. Do you think this day has lived up to its potential? I think it surpassed it. And the reception from the viewers throughout the world, the collaboration and cooperation between artists, managements, crews, the organizers, is just absolutely super -landative. I mean, it's just, it's been absolutely fantastic. I, I would love to see it. I, I don't know, it's probably not possible. But in a situation like this, this kind of situation has to become an annual event. It really does. But in terms of Ethiopia can only be helped to a certain extent in one year, but it has to be an ongoing situation. And I think a lot of us would pledge to do a show like this every year until starvation in many areas of the world, not just Ethiopia. Uh, was um, under some kind of control. Well, now that's a, a good point because so many people have said, well, this can only happen once. You think it could happen again? Oh, yes, I think so. I think everybody's such, had such a fantastic time. I think, I, I certainly, I'd love to do it again. I'd do it again next year like a shot. Rock music has had this potential for a long time, hasn't seemed to be using it. Did it take Geldof or did it take the cause? I think rock music, what the job it's done is implant this kind of feeling within its audience for many years. So when they're needed, they're there. I and mean, you're not going to get that with many other kinds of uh, media entertainment. You know, comedians don't have the same, <laughs> it doesn't, you're not going to get them to turn up and dish their money out and send the money in and whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, there's been a spawning ground for this kind of... Uh, reception and this kind of activity for many years. I mean, it's so wonderful to see it actually get off the ground like this, that the rock audience is a very healthy, thinking, sensitive audience. Do you think rock audiences and artists can shame governments and others to act? I damn well hope so. I mean, the, the inadequate uh, um, action being taken by most governments of the world has been absolutely... And that also applies to the, the actual government in Ethiopia. I mean, there's much talk of the uh, the government in Ethiopia preventing some of the stuff going out to the out, uh, uh, to the outlands because of political values that they want to keep a tight control over a certain area where well, they've got to be shamed into actually distributing the food and uh, increasing the worth of um, agricultural and farming education in those areas. You did something which was unique for this presentation, and that was you with Mick Jagger, made a video which uh, has not been seen and will not be seen. Now, that's the example of another type of project which can be done. Yes. First of all, may I just ask how you chose that song, and are there other things that people can do? I chose the song uh, because uh, I wouldn't do one of Mick's and Mick wouldn't do one of my... No, that's a joke. Uh, we chose the song because it's summer, and, and for us, the, the, the big summer song of all time was always Dancing in the Streets, and we thought, well, that would be a gas to do that one. We didn't really think about doing it until we started reading all these reports and rumours that we were going to be doing a duet on, uh, via the satellite. Well, we knew beforehand that that was impossible because of the, there's a delay of half a second when you start trying to do that kind of thing. And so we both came up with the idea of doing a, maybe a video that could be shown and then maybe if it becomes a record after then we could uh, do a, uh, donate the proceeds to Live Aid as well. So it's a possibility. May we just remind viewers and listeners that though it is now late in the evening, the cause is still there and the need is still there. It certainly is still there and, and as much money, it, it doesn't matter if it's 25p, it doesn't matter if it's one. Um, anything that you can manage is going to help keep somebody alive 